So Rush Limbaugh has a conspiracy theory about the Democratic Party that I actually find fascinating. Check this out, leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Hey, Martha in Indianapolis, Indiana. Hey, Martha, what's on your mind today? Well, I'm hoping you can clear up some confusion. I've always assumed that the establishment referred to the uh, you know, the people in charge, be it in the political arena or in the corporate world. However, it was confusing when you agreed with the lady who called in saying that she felt she was the establishment. I didn't think that referred to the uh, the general populace. So perhaps you could clear up that confusion. One of the hits on Bernie has been that when he says the, he's he's got the establishment against him, um, again, a certain amount of pearl clutching here going on. Um, some folks have said, oh, he's talking about Jim Clyburn. And Bernie, last night, in fact, on Rachel said, you know, I have political disagreements with Jim Clyburn. He, you know, he, Jim Clyburn is not an advocate of Medicare for all, for example. But, um, but he's a good man, right? Um, but that that somehow, by Bernie saying that he was going up against the establishment, that he was going up against, you know, the Black Caucus or African-American politicians or something like that, you know, I think that that's overwrought and overblown. Um, but generally speaking, I think when Democrats refer to the Democratic establishment, they're talking about members of the Democratic Party who are, you know, basically part of the old boy network of the lobbyists and the corporations and, and you know, the lobbyist funded um, uh, politicians and things like that, as opposed to the people who are outside the establishment, which is mostly the members of the Progressive Caucus, whose campaigns are funded by individual donations from people you know, uh, online and things like that. Does that make sense, Martha? So we're really not talking about individuals such as me I, or anyone else? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't think so. I, and, and I think that she was referring, although I, she's not here to speak, and, and I hate putting words in other people's mouths, uh, but my, what I believed she was saying was that, you know, she was echoing that, that attack on Bernie that when he attacks the establishment, he's also attacking, uh, you know, a number of black politicians who who, uh, I, I mean, to say that a black politician is a member of the establishment, even if they're taking money from lobbyists, after black politicians were kept out of American politics for 200 years, um, and and to this day, I mean, even James Clyburn has probably been stopped by the police, you know, recently. I mean, it's just, uh, I, I mean, I have no idea specifically, but we've had black legislators who have been stopped by the cops just because they were driving while black, you know. Um, so to, to just use that word establishment in a kind of dismissive way is, I think, offensive to a lot of people. And that's why I think that Bernie needs to back off that. Now, that said, and Martha, thank you for the call. That said, I want to share with you a conspiracy theory that I heard um, uh, from Rush Limbaugh yesterday, oddly enough, that I thought was just fascinating. And uh, in fact, tomorrow's Anything Goes Friday, uh, the lines are all full right now, so I doubt we'll get any more calls today that, that you know, where anybody can get in to specifically respond to this, but we could talk about it tomorrow if you'd like. And what, basically, this is my, my version of Limbaugh's conspiracy theory. His was well, highly simplified from this, but basically, um, here's how it goes. When Trump came into the Republican Party, he was an outsider. And the Republican Party was, by and large, an insider kind of establishment clique, well-funded by industry and all that kind of stuff. And Trump came in, and he started kicking out the establishment and replacing established politicians, the Jeff Flakes and the Bob Corkers and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, and all these guys who just resigned rather than even trying to deal with the primary, started replacing them all with populist Trump toadies. And then this was not just limited to the Republican Party. This then went to Fox News. And on Fox News, the hosts who had embraced Trump populism and rejected establishment Republican politics came up to the top of Fox News. And the ones who were still embracing establishment Republican politics, people like Shep Smith, got fired and, and were out. And so what Limbaugh was saying is essentially that's what you're seeing in the Democratic Party right now, that, that uh, you know, the Democratic establishment, in quotes, excuse me, I just sneezed, that the Democratic establishment, as it were, and not just in the party, but also on MSNBC, 
that these folks, and again, this is Rush Limbaugh's conspiracy theory. I don't necessarily subscribe to it, but I find it fascinating that, that those folks are thinking if Bernie Sanders becomes president, he will start in, you know, helping the AOCs of the world and the Mark Pocans of the world, the, the outsiders, as it were, the populists, the progressives, he'll start helping them and stop helping institutionally through the Democratic Party because he will become head of the Democratic Party. Stop helping the guys who have been basically funneling, you know, United Healthcare money through the DNC into their campaigns and things. And so they will start losing primaries to people like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and uh, that there's a lot of people, a lot of, quote, establishment figures of the Democratic Party who are thinking if, if Bernie becomes the president, that's the end of their political career. Just like when Trump became president, it was the end of Bob Corker and Jeff Flake's political career. And then, and then Limbaugh extends that and says, and you've got, he specifically said Chuck Todd. He said, and then you've got Chuck Todd and all those guys on MSNBC who are part of that same Democratic establishment and taking, you know, making big bucks from big corporations. And they're concerned that if Bernie becomes the, pres the president, the head of the Democratic Party, that um, what will happen is that the establishment figures on MSNBC, and particularly the old Republicans on MSNBC, you know, the, the Nicole Wallace's and Joe Scarborough's, they'll get kicked out and they'll get replaced by a new generation of, progress, of, of progressives. Um, the uh, uh, Jean-Pierre, what's her name? I'm forgetting her name. She's, she's just a brilliant progressive on, on MSNBC. Uh, arguably even Joy Reid, although she's... Uh, Kareem Jean-Pierre, thank you, um, and, 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 and others. I mean, you, uh, you've got this over on CNN. You've you got Van Jones. You've got a progressive over there. Well, suddenly there's going to be a lot more Van Joneses and a whole lot fewer of the kind of John Kings. Again, this was Rush Limbaugh's conspiracy theory, and he, and he presents this uh, as this is why MSNBC and CNN are attacking Bernie Sanders, and it's also why the political figures who are, quote, establishment Democrats, um, you know, like Claire McCaskill and, and, and onward, um, have been attacking Bernie Sanders. At the level of conspiracy theory, or really even at the level of systems theory, it makes a certain amount of sense, but I really doubt that any of these people are sitting around explicitly thinking like this. Although that may be the way things would play out. It's an interesting thought experiment, if nothing else.